In this video, I'm reacting to Champion Nate and Exorus. Dragon Sprint, EX Raw Tech. Okay. Physical Strike, EX Raw Field. Okay, Vic to Fairy. Master Fair, which is okay, I guess. Dragon Unova, my character, Champion Unova Adventurer. Good HP, attack good. Defense with defense, okay. Speed, not bad. First passive, Unova Pride, okay, is the physical move one. Increases physical attack. As long as you are more Unova sync pairs. Strategy, focus on attack. You plus 6 attack when you use trainer move, and also plus 1 physical move next. Okay, interesting. Better than perfect opportunity. Surprisingly, they decidedly have like good names now. Okay, nice. Restores 1 MP of body move after your team uses a sync move. And plus 1 physical move up next also. So every time you sync with anyone, anyone on the team, you gain back 1 MP for body move as well as physical move next. Plus 1. Oh, okay. P move and S move crit. Okay, so your regular moves and sync move always crits. Okay. First move, scale shot. Okay. So attacks 2 to 5 times, but you plus 1 speed to your. You plus 1 speed to yourself and minus 1 defense. Okay. Not that good because you decrease your own defense. Unless you have like I'm bending in the grid and that would be really good. But then again, it's only 2 to 5 times. It's not really a lot of PP. Even 5 times is gonna be. which is quite rare. Unless you have like the. No quarter passive, so you hit 5 times every single time, then that would be pretty good. 5 times is, at the most is gonna be like 100, it's not even gonna be 100 BP. Second passive, a second passive, second trainer move. You know what passion has a long description. Plus 1 physical one next to all allies. You know what circle, what? You know what circle physical, so Robosa is probably gonna have special or something. So you will pull up physical. Attack moves and sync moves by 10% for all allies. Also reduce physical attack and physical sync move for opponents by 5%. Also, the more Unova sync pairs you have, the higher the percentages. So if you have 3 Unova sync pairs, you will have 40% damage increase for sync and regular moves as well as 14% physical damage reduction. And on top of that, if you have this one, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty quite a lot. See, the maximum is 50%. I, I don't know if they stack like additively, so 50 plus. 50 plus. 40, that'll be 90%. That's almost double your regular moves. Remind, reminder that the Master Passive only increases your regular moves, not sync move. But this trainer move, this Unova Circle Physical increases your sync move also, which is quite crazy actually. So yeah. Oh, Dark Black Outrage. So, activation condition is when you're on the use, use attacks race. New plus, I don't know if this one is as long as you have a buff attack stat, or is it every time you plus one attack? If it's every time you plus one attack, it's gonna be one time use only, which I don't think that's the case because you can get back the MP, right? What's the point of getting, getting getting back the MP when you only, you can only use it one time? It's probably as long as you have plus one attack or above that you can use this. So, this is once every single time, which is a very high BP move, 250. That's, I, think, I think that's even higher than high BP. That's crazy. And you can also minus one same corner, which is quite useful. And no, no, doesn't miss, and it's also a crit from his third passive. So that's nice. That's what well, he has two trainer moves of the of unique names. I think that's the first time we have that. Okay, glory of the challenge. Returns the user's lower stats to normal, raises the speed by three stat ranks, and applies three move next. I mean, you can make speed, and then I guess you can counter the minus one defense here, but I don't think it's really that useful. At least for the first line. Because if you have a defense buffer and then you, you can debuff yourself, it's gonna it's not gonna work, right? Because this return normal is only for it's only when your defense is to the negative. If it's not, then yeah, it's a bit hard to use unless you're unbending. Hopefully he has in the grid. The plus three speed is nice. And then the Fibonacci is also nice. Resonating Wheel Dragon Claw. Regular sync move. And then she has a field. Yeah, sure. So Dragon Zone. Which is quite nice. And yeah, on paper. Decent, not bad. I mean, he is a master face, so you are expected to have. He's expected to have good damage, obviously. So yeah, it's more than single. One out of five, you got unflappable. Two out of five, you have MJ three for scale shot. Okay. Oh, it's only ninety percent accurate. Yeah, that kind of sucks now. Okay, okay. B move MJ three, Ajax remedy, Dragon Zone interference immunity. So no flinch, no confusion, no trap. When you are in Dragon Zone, 
Nova C physical move up 3. Oh, so you have 30% multiplier to your DPS. And you have this Unova circle physical thing. Dragon Zone attack move DR2 reduces damage taken by Dragon Zone. Okay, MPR2. No. Pistol Sync 5. Okay. I thought I already has some DPS, which is quite nice. So when your speed is raised, you power your sync move. That's nice. 3 out of 5. No quarter. Okay, you can hit 5 times all the time, which is decent. 90% accuracy, which kind of sucks. Step down, physical boost up 1 9. Oh, so you plus 1 physical next every time you have. But any of your stats are lowered. So I guess every time you use skill shot, you get physical more of next, which is. Okay. I guess that's that is interesting. This one will be only useful if your if your opponents have no physical moves. No physical symbol, no physical moves. Only uses only your, only, your opponent only uses special attacks then. This will be. You can pair this up, maybe. Actually, now that I think about it, you have to use skill shot. Oh, and, and the dragon one is two gauges. Okay, I think the infographic was wrong as well. But yeah, you have to use skill shot every. I mean, the first thing that maybe you don't have to use it because you can use the trainer move first. But after after you sing for the first time, you have to use skill shot because that's that's your only damaging move aside from the B move, and the B move can only use once per sing turn. So like, actually, that kind of sucks. I really hope she has unbending, please. Extension 3, okay, extend, extend the sucker thing, Innova sucker, okay. Strike attack down 2, 30% chance to minus 1 attack. Oh, okay, so that, that would be good for a scale shot because 30% chance per hit, so scale shot you can hit 5 times in the model, that would be decent. You can minus two, at least 2, maybe 1 or 2 attack every time. Unleashing strike 2. Oh, this one is for defense, okay, that would be decent for scale shot. Haymaker, okay, oh, attack, you know, oh, that's. Oh, that's 90%. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, Impervious. You know what? This is even better than Unbending because if Impervious is for every single stat. If you take Impervious, then that means Physical Boost up 9 is... Phys physical Boost 1 up up 1, 9 is useless. Because you cannot debuff yourself. But yeah. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. A Maker, definitely a must take. Punishing Strike 2, I think a very good passive. And you do not have enough energy, which sucks a lot. Crap. Damn, okay, that sucks. What do I do now? Oh, that is very annoying. Minus one attack. I think they, they, think they, purposely, they purposely made it like this, so. The heck? Even with this, we cannot, bro. Thing is, this 90% is very, very high, so it's best to have this. Oh, then that means you have to maybe you have to sacrifice this, take this. Oof. The defense debuff will be quite useful. Or oh, you can do this, I guess. Unfortunately, that you can attack Punishing Strike too. So for maximum damage, I guess you have this. And yeah, maybe something like this. Oh, this is for maximum damage. Yeah, everything else is kind of like quality of life stuff. And extension 3, no quarter will be useful also, but it's all the way up here. And this is the only useful thing for this grid on the top right corner. So I don't think it's worth going there. All the good stuff is on the bottom half of the grid. Haymaker, Impervious, all that. So let's see damage. Oh, okay, max attack. You weak to dragon. Let's see the pure damage without any multiplier. I mean, okay, you have Haymaker, but... Yeah, okay, the damage is nothing crazy, but oh yeah, this one already not bad. It's only a master passive. What is the what's the multiplayer again? Okay, you buff yourself, you buff the speed, 50%, okay, nuke, still nothing too crazy. Okay, if you have Unova Sync, there was a thing. How do you even activate that? Oh boy, just realized how do you activate this? Does the does the calculation calculator even have the thing? Damage field? Is there Unova here? No. Okay, what do I do? Oh, okay. The new field effect is not included in the calculator. That sucks. Because the multiplier is 90%, right? Which is a crap ton. Wait, do we even have um, MPR for this? Ooh, we have MPR. Okay, that sucks. That means you can only use it two times. So if you're using a gauntlet, then you probably want an extension, actually. But anyways, let's assume you multiply by 1.9, which is not the case. That's not how the multiplier works. Actually, here is the damage. You just take the maximum damage here, you divide by divide by 2.5 which is Haymaker and Speedster Sync. It times by 3.4 because 2.5 you plus the 90% here. And this damage is very bad <laughs> for a Master Fair. Which is very sad I feel. And then for DPS, I guess I have to calculate that as well. Which is actually kind of simple because there's no multiplier for... Actually wait, there is a multiplier here. Okay, DPS is very good. It's only it's only one opponent, right? It, oh, it's all opponents. Okay, at least the DPS is good. 
which is pretty good and don't forget that we ha also have uh physical move next right every time you sink so every time you sink you should use the b move because i mean obviously it's a higher it's damages it has high damage so of course you want to use that so oh wait okay wait let me redo all of this because I forgot. This is only the first sink. <laughs> Something happened. Okay, there we go. There we go. This this damage is only for the first sink. Let me redo this. Okay, there we go. This is more like it. For almost 40 casting damage. That is good damage. Okay. This is for the B move. This is very good damage. 17.8k damage with the C Unova thing. Unova circle thing. This is very good. This is after the first sink. Just now the calculation I forgot to include the first sink. So yeah, then if you are physical move how next few times right? 1.9 now. 22.5k for the B move. Every time every every single turn you can just do this. That is good damage. Okay. Thankfully I noticed that mistake or else I'm gonna mislead everybody and think that people will think like he sucks, but no. That is very good at the nuke and good DPS. And he also has a new thing called the Unova Circle thing. Oh wait, oh freak. <gasps> oh, oh my god, I forgot. I forgot about the 40% maximum from this and oh dude, this is gonna be even higher damage. Okay, let's just assume you only have one nit. Okay, yeah, you only have one nit. Wait, what the heck? It's only 10% and then each Oh okay. Oh this okay, the default is 20% here. The default is 20% because when I think about it, this this is 10%, right? It says 10% and then the maximum is 40%, so it doesn't make sense for 10%. If the original 10% is only for Nate. So that means if you that means it's a 20% increase. Right? Because 10% is from Trainer Move, the other 10% is from Nate because Nate is a Unova sync pair. So 20%. So how many times? 2.1. Okay, and then this one, if we multiply by is 3.6. And remember this is only for one one Unova sync pair, which is already insane actually. Yeah, yeah, it is actually insane damage. The DP is even more insane than the the freaking DPS is all more than half the sync move damage. Wow. Yeah, remember? Again, this is not the maximum damage, and this is only this is also without Dragon Zone. And without any debuff. This is just raw damage he can do himself without any other Unova Sync pairs, without Dragon Zone. This is already crazy damage. Being cool, Dragon Zone 1.5, that's actually insane. Actually, this is literally this is higher than a regular average sync damage. And this is DPS from B move. He is a good he's a very good sync pair. Very good damage. Very interesting as well. I know don't and, not, and, also, and let's not forget that this C this universe circle thing also buffs your teammate. So and also Master Passive obviously buff your teammate also. So you can bring a secondary physical striker or something and GG. 